Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you some advanced features of the chat macros that I showed you earlier. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see that I've already changed pretty much everything to rejects here. Um, but I'm going to kind of get into some of the details. I'm not going to go into how rejects works. You can kind of look at that on your own. Um, but let's go ahead and just kind of show you some of the advanced things with it. So let's just say you weren't using rejects and we, I'll show you some of those features first. So um, anytime somebody says hey in chat uh, we're going to I guess we can just make an auto text. So you can just say hello. So if someone says hey this is just uh, you know random auto text. It's not going to do anything um, besides say hello. So let's go ahead and try it out. Cool, so it says hello. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bit more advanced. So we're going to edit the message and what's going to happen is it's this asterisk here. It's actually a placeholder and it's a group. So whenever you um, put in like one of these braces here and you put one then it's going to be a placeholder for whatever the asterisk covers and if we want to we can just say hello like that press done and whenever I say hey it's going to say hello uh, owner helper blue snapple because that's my prefix everything before the colon and if we want to um, get a little bit more fancy I guess then we can do we can edit this make it a little more accurate and then we can do this so now instead of one we could put two and it'll have what whatever name uh, comes after so if I say hey then it'll say hey hello blue snapple you know that's what it, you probably want it to do that's up to you um but that's pretty much it just for the placeholder like that if we wanted to do something a little more advanced with uh, as far as a response goes, say hello, um, and then their name. But if we wanted to do something random, you can um, random just like that. So we could put in here, hmm, hello, blue snapple. How are you? And then the next one we could just put Blue Snapple. What's up? Just like that. So if we type in hey, hello Blue Snapple, how are you? Do it again. Hey, how are you? Because it's random, so it might do the same message. Uh, but here you go. The second or the second time I tried it, it did what's up. So it just kind of randomizes that. Um, you can do whatever you want with that. Um, there's also a delay, so if you don't want to seem like a robot, you can add this. Um, as you saw, it's it happening instantly every time I type the hey message. But um, this is in ticks, so if you're familiar with ticks, it's really self-explanatory. But if you're not, basically Minecraft has um, ticks, and every 20 ticks is about one second. So if you wanted just one second delay, then you could put 20 ticks and a lot of mine I think are set at 30 from other things um, we can just try 20 for now just to test it so if I say hey it's gonna wait a second and then it's gonna give me the response so that's just kinda up to you it makes it a little less robotic and unique I guess um, now if you're doing other things other macros for uh, commands maybe you wouldn't want to delay it's okay it's whatever you like um, now another thing that was fixed in the last update is if somebody wanted to use the question mark it used to not really work properly but now it does and
and if, just to give you an example of what that does, it's a little different from rejects. So if you wanted to say the word color, then in rejects, normally you would do something like this, and then it would ignore the previous character. Well, without rejects enabled, you the 5-zig way is to do it like um, this. So it's just going to ignore the fact that if there is or isn't a character um, in that place folder. So that's just how that works. Let's try it out. So look, it works there for color. And if I did color, I guess the British way, it also works. Oh, whatever you want to call that. But um, that's how you use the question mark. I was confused when I first was trying to figure that out. Um, but it's all good. But let's go ahead and do something with rejects. So rejects is going to be different syntax. Obviously, you're going to want to check that on. And let's just kind of do the same thing we did when we started off. So dot star means that everything up till a certain point. So if we use the colon like we did before, and we can use this as a space a placeholder. And then if we do the word hey, then um, that should catch that and we're going to do auto text and we're just going to say hello just like normal and let's see how that works or, oops I gotta say hey so then it says hello okay cool so that did exactly how we started at the beginning you know syntax just looks a little weird um, what we can do now is we can put the dot star in little uh, what it's called groups I guess and whenever we say hello we can put the brackets here do the same thing we did before and it should recognize that as a group so if we say hey then it'll say hello owner helper blue snapple just like we did before um, and so I can show you how to make that a little simpler and instead of just that what we're gonna do is kind of the same thing I did but um, with rejects so we're gonna back character or back slash that so it'll recognize it. and then we're going to use all the characters inside of the brackets another backslash and close bracket and then we can do um, the space carrot or space character right there and then we'll have another group we can put dot star just like that okay you see now it said hello owner helper um I didn't put the number two instead of one because I made two groups here as you can see the first group the one that's in parentheses right um that was that this is the second group right here so instead of putting a one we need to put a two we can save that and now it should work um it'll just say hey, hello blue snapple and that's what you probably want um so you can kind of mess around with that and you know how this would be practical if you were a helper or a moderator i guess and then we can do uh, the random just like that and you can add more I'll, I'll add another one if you want you can as many as you want um, I'm not sure what the limit is but let's see here if we did hello um, blue snapple how's it going next one we can put um, Blue Snapple, you doing all right? Next one we can put Blue Snapple, having a good day. All right. Um, so I mean, you do whatever you want, but it should randomize those three things. So if we say hey, say hey, Blue Snapple, having a good day. Okay. Do it again. You doing all right? Doing all right. Let's see if we'll do the third one. 
having a day, so it's just doing those two right now. Let's see if we can get it to... Okay, there we go. So, you know, sometimes it might repeat itself, that's okay, it's, it, you know, it's literally random, so you never know. Alright, well that's the basics of how to use these advanced features, I guess. Um, you can set the delay tick to whatever you want. You know, using Rejax, it just looks a little different. But, um, also another thing you can do, too, is, and normally you do want to have the upper carrot for Rejax, just meaning it starts at the beginning here. But if you want to, you can also do negative look-aheads. Like, if you wanted to, um, not use your name, which you can still use Blue Snapple. Um, blue snapple like that and if you're an MVP VIP whatever or maybe even helper or mod you can put helper blue snapple and it won't it won't activate whenever you say it obviously but if you want to you can also do if you want to do a negative look ahead so negative look ahead you just do a question mark and exclamation point so everything at this point will be uh, negative and it should, this up carrot means it starts at the beginning, so if the beginning, and then again for spaces, you can just put slash s, or backslash s, and blue snapple. Alright, and then you can put a colon too, and that should be it. So every time that it begins with um, helper, uh, blue snapple like that then it shouldn't activate so let's let's test that all right cool so um, as you see it doesn't activate because the negative look ahead um, is just like that and of course if you wanted to um, we can just take the negative look ahead out um, so here where it says uh, snapple we can just start deleting that. Okay. And so now if we say, hey, it should work just fine. But if you want to use the look ahead that's in 5zig for you already, you can do that as well. Um, it'll still work. Like if I put helper, blue snapple. The only thing with this, though, is that it searches through the entire text. So you can't put, like, a upper arrow for it to start at the very beginning because that can be useful sometimes um, but you know you kind of you can still do this it still works um, well enough for you so if I said hey it's not gonna work because I just put an exception in there alright well I think that's it for now um, let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments below about how to use 5zig features and I can try and explain um, if I need to I might even make uh, a video on it alright if this helped you out just um, I guess like it